welcome to the National Western Complex here in beautiful Denver, Colorado. There's fireworks gonna happen tonight. There's already an electricity in the room. We've got an unbelievable rematch that all of Colorado's been looking for. My name is Josh Kavan, C-A-V-A-M, and I hope you know how to spell Josh. I'm Selena Rowland, I'm fighting for Factory X, I'm a 135er. Once I hit her that first time, she didn't want to be hit anymore. When I saw him walk in the door today, suit, head to toe, dressed, ready to go. Make some noise for Markel Medeiros! My name is Josh Kavan, C-A-V-A-M, and I hope you know how to spell Josh. Transitioned from hockey into MMA uh, years back. I got to a point where I was um, I just needed to train uh, full time. I got my the competition level was was getting high. Right, I needed just to you know, and I, I didn't want to look back and say what if. My background was in finance. I graduated with a degree in economics over at uh, Colorado State University. Um, actually, when I got into MMA, I was actually working full time um, over at a, a financial advising company. So I'd actually show up after practice to the gym uh, with black eyes and stuff, and we had meetings. It, it was scary, and it still is scary. Um, you know, I, I'm just lucky to have the support I do. This is the ninth annual Ferrari of Denver toy drive. You know, my wife was very supportive. It's our whole world. My name is Corey Rose. I am the wife of Josh Kavan, professional MMA fighter. Yes, but what attracted me to Josh is his heart. Through our whole relationship, I've never had my husband there at night to have a dinner with me. He practices every night. With MMA, there's really no off seasons, and so you always got to stay ready, especially the spot that I'm in. Get your hips out, drop. A lot of physical, you know, we're in the gym all the time. People don't really see how mental this sport is, and I really think it's about you know, 90, 95% mental. Sure, I've actually hired a, a sports psychologist to help me out. It definitely gets harder for me. So I think he's had 25 pro fights, and I've been to all but one. It's been about a year since my last fight, um, and I had a couple possible short notices um, for the big show and uh, they didn't end up working out. He's so close to making it to the big show. In Colorado, please make welcome Josh Superman Kevin. He really wants to be able to say that he made it and making it is the big show and he's right there. So being that close with a four fight win streak and ready to do this all the way, it's hard to just walk away. I didn't want to look back and say what if, you know, I remember being 85, Years old, just like, man, what if I pursued that dream? What if I, you know, what could I have done? Wow. Ooh, beautiful leg kick by Kavan. What you didn't see that day was just the, the nerves in the morning. You wake up, you know, you have to cut weight the day beforehand, and then all of a sudden you wake up, and then you have those nerves, and just like, ooh, all right, it's going down tonight, okay. And this is Kavan's game right here. That's right. But I remember he was doing pretty good. I was again in the nosebleeds, far away, surrounded by family. The second round, he got that knee. And it rocked him. I could tell it rocked him. I think everyone in there could tell. And so here we are, and I know how much it means to him. He was fighting for more than just me and him. It was a little one that was on the way. Oh, We're about to find out. Man, come and then I saw something and I knew what it was. I knew in his mind it was a switch for the family. I knew that he would he realized what he was fighting for and that's how he won. The man's super committed to it. Bite down at that mouth guard and, and just keep moving forward as much as I can and, and show up every day and you know that's 
to, to be able to get to that next level so that way I can provide for, you know, my future family. And uh, the man working to pop his head free. Yeah, it, it was super scary. Um, you know, it actually still is today. It just kind of, you kind of have those demons of doubt saying, man, did I, am I doing the right thing? my escape. They just, they're better than humans. They don't talk back. They just listen. You think so good, Princess? <clears throat> my hair all crazy now. Oh, you're I don't really care, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, like, three years ago, I think it was, is when it all started. Uh, I was going to college, I am going to school for nursing, I was going home to go to class, and I fell asleep, crashed my car, rolled into oncoming traffic. If I would have rolled one more time, I would have been decapitated. I was on bed rest for two months, had to medically withdraw from school, almost got evicted from my apartment because I couldn't work. I was out of work for two months. The next year, um, my house burnt down, and then last year, I was out downtown Denver, um, just having a fun night, and I got jumped by six guys. They broke my leg, I had a hematoma, almost bit through my tongue, and I was out for six months, seven months. So what got you into fighting? Um, I just wanted to try it, and this coach gave me two weeks for free, and I loved it. I didn't really actually love it at first. I was the only amateur in the gym, so I got beat up a lot. I try to train a lot before a fight. From here? Uh -huh. We do strength and conditioning. We train Monday through Saturday from three to four hours a day. Plus you have your privates, then you have to run Monday, Wednesday, Saturdays. You need all of it just to go in there for that nine minutes. Your body is just going through so much. Selena, your time to rock and roll. Ah! Ah! Nobody knows that I'm a fighter. Everybody has to see video first. <laughs> They're like, oh, we should believe you now. Hey, I need you to flip the switch now. No more knives. Just get fucking nasty now. now I'm actually pretty crazy with adrenaline, so I have to keep myself calm. Now's the time you flip it. I like to punch myself in the face, so when I get in the cage, it's not like, whoa, I just got hit. <laughs> Take it all in right now. Take it all in right now. This is why you work the way Making her way to the cage, Selena Rowland. Before I get in the cage, I'm like, what am I doing? I'm going to tap. I'm not going to go out there right now. I get in this zone. That adrenaline, I haven't felt that in a while. I didn't really know what to expect going out there. It's like just her and I, and it's just the best feeling. The adrenaline is like a whole nother level. Hey, just keep walking over. Walk over to your left. We're in there, but there are eyes. They see what we don't see. They coach us through those little things that we need to fix. It's great. I love having them on the side. And look at Selena rolling, dropping shoulders. Adjust your hips. Get your right hand out. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Stop. This is going to a decision, so we're going to continue to win right here. You're one of our unanimous decision, Selena. My whole entire body hurts. 
like that adrenaline. I haven't felt that in a while, so that was great. Yeah, I'm hurting right now. <laughs> but it was awesome. It felt great to be back in there. It was, the adrenaline's amazing. It was fun. Oh yeah, this is my escape. I don't even think about fighting when I'm riding, or when I'm around them even, or anything really. <laughs> it's just us. We are taking pictures today to market myself to non-fighter sponsors. Northern Climate Control, this is Selena. How can I help you? I have three jobs. I am a receptionist, I'm a security guard, and I work at a ranch. I play softball still. I play so pitch competitively. I play for a traveling team. Selena, um, listen, I was thinking about this, mm -hmm. and I think uh, it's about time you go pro. Are you being serious? I'm swear to God. Are you sure? I'm not yeah. Oh God, are you sure? I'm positive. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you, you ready sure? to rock? I'm positive. Oh God. <laughs> really? I'm not messing with you. Oh my god, you made me sweat. I know. She looks, she's sweating. She's sweating. Oh, really? You excited? I'm really. Yeah, really. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> that is exciting. Oh it's my gosh, it was the best the feeling. It was what, like. What are we going to do? It's time to go do that. Oh, like I just won the biggest fight that I need to, you know? Oh, it was awesome. I've never felt like that before. I can't wait. <laughs> so excited. Let's go, Selena, get nasty. Showtime, baby. Let's go. Hey, you're the baddest motherfucker on the planet, Selena. Let's go. You were born to do this. You got that opportunity right in front of you. Go see this, Selena. They came out to watch you perform. Go impress yourself. That's it. your hips and you got to go chest to chest find an underhook you hear me look at me go win this round right now you hear me be a bad motherfucker right here let's go hey get off yes on the center yes good job selena hey get your jab established establish your jab get your base go chest to chest hey walk up the cage Use the cage. Hand fight, hand fight, hand fight. Hey, walk up the cage. Walk up the cage. Hey, hand fight. Get your shoulders to the mat. Go one, one, two. Selena, if you will dig down deep right now, you will never forget this moment in your entire life. Hey, decide right now. Decide right now. Selena, use your feet. Hey, come here, I'm proud of you. Come here. I'm proud of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm proud of you. I'm sorry. You okay? 
I'm telling you, you're not going to get the result that you're after, okay? So I know you did. You're going to just have, you know what this is going to do? It's going to fuel you, fuel you to train even harder, okay? Well, I'm going to take a week off for mentally, and I want to be with my horses. I miss my horses. And I want to play softball. I just want to do my own thing. And then I'm going to get back to the grind, because I will not lose again. I, again, didn't really know what the sport of MMA was. And it was that fourth fight that I realized that was the moment I had to decide if this is something I could handle. Command looking to make sure that doesn't happen. And I could stay with Josh or if this is something I needed to walk away from. And I think because my dad was an adrenaline junkie and he did all this stuff, it prepared me for my life with Josh. LT Nelson, but he looks like he's about to tap and there is the tap. Josh, come in. Uh, you know, my goal overall is to get to the big show, get to the UFC, get the Bellator, um, you know, make a name for myself at the big show and, uh, you know, to get that belt. What a fight, Josh Kavan. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one for the ages. And now. And now. And now. This sport is different. From Inglewood, Colorado. Honestly, I don't even call it a sport myself. A lot of people do. Please make welcome, Mark Madera. Because you can play football, you can play basketball, you can play tennis, but you can't play fight. I'm Mark Madero, MMA fighter, currently amateur. Every fight counts. When you go in there, it's either, it sounds crazy, but it's either killed or be killed. And Madero is firmly in control as the round comes to an end. Yeah, that was my first MMA fight on October of last year. That was my very first fight. I wasn't nervous, but it was more like, man, I'm actually here. Look at that head kick, nicely done. People in the crowd, they expect, I mean, they expect violence. Good knee landed there from Madero. Madero easily steps into mouth. In that fight, I didn't, I didn't, I don't even think I got up. I finished him on the ground. I knew I won the match because the referee usually is, he gives you the, the, the wave and it's like, I knew I was punching him so the wave wasn't for me. Congratulations to the Pac-3 X fighter, gonna go home with the TKO win. And I stood up and it was like, it was a great feeling, it was a great feeling. John in the cage with Markel, another debut, another victory tonight. Everybody has done it so far. Congratulations to you as well, man. My job is just to get in the cage and do it. When are you gonna do it again? Oh, anytime. Give me a fight and I'm ready. I take everything that I do in this sport serious. Even though I'm amateur, I treat myself as I'm um, a professional. I eat right. This is like my treat after the fight. I cut out carbs a while back in order to make weight. I work out like I'm a professional. I do everything I can to ensure that when I get in there, I'm ready. Hey, I'm gonna check on you in 10, see how you're feeling, okay? Training is probably my favorite part. Everything about it is fun to me. As far as fighting goes, at least in your amateur career, you wait, you wait for your coach to tell you like, okay, we have a fight lined up. For me, uh, fighting has always kind of been an outlet. When I was younger, I used to get in a lot of fights. I just grew up in not the best neighborhoods. We didn't have the most money, so I didn't come up in the best, in the best environments. When you're younger, you're full of testosterone and you're like, mm, I have to prove myself. But 
when you get older, there's no need to do unnecessary things like that. I know who I am, man. I'm confident in who I am. I pull out the iron, the good old iron. Most fighters, the way they fight is expression of themselves. So I fight, I fight smooth, I fight calm, I fight clean. And that's exactly how I like to dress myself as well. Like I said, I take this as a, as a job, so you want to dress professional for your job whenever you go in. I do get uh, I do get as dapper as possible for every fight. It's just a good feeling, like wearing a nice suit that's nicely fitted. It's something about it is just... <laughs> Man, I look snazzy. I just trained consistently and went back to the gym until, until eventually that time came in March and I had that, uh, I had that second fight. Oh my God, I hate traffic so much. Oh, here we go. Looks like I'm the only one here then. If I look good and I feel good physically, everything is almost like perfect. Enjoy this moment, bro. Take this all in right here. This is why you do what you do. Fighting out of the red corner tonight with a record of one win and no losses. From Inglewood, Colorado, representing Factory X. Make some noise for Marquez. When you get in there, it's kind of like a release, like chains are unshackled, and it's like, all right, now I get to do what I love, because I, I love doing it. Neither one of these guys is giving up an inch. You don't want to put your body through hell without a reward. So eventually, yes, I do want to make a living off of this. He likes that lead right hand. He's landing on Dakota Brown right now. Even if he gets hit, he just moves off of it and throws something back up. My ultimate goal is to eventually be able to put my mother in the house and take care of all the people who are taking care of me. I'm pretty sure you'll be hearing my name around a lot of places, not only Denver, not, not even only the United States. You'll, you'll hear my name around. Markel Maderos! Markel Maderos bounces right back up every single time. Usually after a fight, you know, and he won, he looks beat up. And I'm so concerned about his well-being that I don't sleep. I want to make sure that he doesn't have a concussion, that, you know, all of that's good. And he could care less about all of it. He doesn't feel any of it. He is on such an adrenaline high. And it really is like the best few days after. A couple of days after the fight, um, we actually left, uh, my wife and I with some good friends, uh, for Lake Powell the day after the fight. And just to have a, a week of downtime. Um, Face is healing along pretty nicely. Took some damage for sure, um, especially after that illegal knee. Um, got five stitches in my eyebrow. I mean, I've removed like 35 stitches just from his face, you know? That's just how Josh is. He, but he usually comes out on top even though he's got blood and it's squirting and he's slipping on it and that's just how it is. There's one. And there's one already go. The last year has been so hard. So he fought in October, four fight win streak in a row, amazing, um, and and good finishes. You know, not not decisions, finishes. <sighs> and so we knew we were right there. And so in the course of a year, you know, we've had these last minute call ups. But again, for the whole year, he's had to keep his weight in check because we've had no idea whether or not he's going to have a fight. I'm kind of just on the cusp of making it to that next level I, and so I just got to stay ready at all times because injuries happen and I just kind of on that short notice list. 
it's worth it because this is what Josh wants to do. This is what makes him happy. I mean, he quit a six-figure job to go full-time fighting a couple years ago because that's how unhappy he was in a cubicle and how happy he was training. And so I just support him and I pray that when this is all said and done that his mind and his body are okay to have a normal life. We started talking about a family a long time ago. I've always known Josh would be a good dad. My goals, you know, it's my goals have changed as well because now I have a wife and I, you know, we're working on, on building a family and, you know, that's what my drive now. Right now, I support him 100% until he wants to walk away from it. And once baby comes, he might realize that he just doesn't have the time for it anymore, or we might figure out how to make all of it work. Mm -hmm.